we're going to look at potential energy diagrams. Now these are diagrams that are going to show energy changes that happen during a reaction. So we're going to look at the type of energy diagram for endothermic and exothermic reactions. So this diagram shows you an exothermic reaction. Now what you see here, here is your potential energy on your y-axis time that the, the reaction is happening on your x-axis. So here is the energy of your reactants and over here is going to be the energy of your products. So the difference between the two is what we call delta H. Now the delta H is what we call the enthalpy or the energy change. Enthalpy is just a pretty word for energy. Now it is negative for exothermic reactions, okay, and that's because the energy of the reactants is greater than the energy of the product. So that means that your energy has been released. Now you can also tell from this graph, this here is what we call, oops, let me find it, the activation energy. And that's the energy from the reactants to the top of the peak. Now what is activation energy? Well, it's the energy that's needed to make a reaction happen. So your energy is starting out with the reactants, you put energy into it, that's your activation energy. When you reach this peak here, what you have is called an activated complex, okay? And the energy at the peak here is the energy of your activated complex. And this is an intermediate. It's going to be formed during the reaction, okay? Now let's look at this for an endothermic reaction. So an endothermic reaction, notice that your reactants have less energy than your product. So you've put energy into this system and it's held on to some of it. So what that means in terms of delta H is that it's going to be positive. It absorbs energy. Okay? Your um, activation energy, notice, is much bigger than um, it was for the exothermic reaction. Okay, it's much greater. We're putting energy into this system. Now we're also going to look at the effects of a catalyst. Okay, a catalyst is going to speed up the reaction by reducing the activation energy. So if we look at an exothermic reaction, okay, see our reactants are above our products. If we add that catalyst in, it shrinks the activation energy. Now notice it does not change anything else. It doesn't change delta H, doesn't change the energy of the reactants or the products. It simply makes the reaction happen faster because it requires less energy here. Now for an endothermic reaction, reactants are lower than products, but again notice that it does lower the original activation energy.